controversy about the decision. Well, first of all, the judges do not see CompuBox numbers nor hear CompuBox numbers, not a part of their frame of reference when they judge the fight. But fans hear them, and fans see them, and be a fighter. They're equal in height at five feet six. Pacquiao has an arm length advantage of one inch, measured from the armpit to the end of the fifth. Bradley weighed in one half pound heavier yesterday at the weigh-in, and both superbly conditioned athletes have rehydrated only six or so pounds overnight. Bradley will enter the ring weighing 152, Pacquiao weighing 151. It's a wash. There is no particular. We saw Bradley survive hell in the second round against Provodnikov, but the difference is Pacquiao can throw 20 punches before most guys can respond. Now Here Bradley's, Bradley's coming back. back. He lands a hard right hand of his own. We got a firefight for round number two. Both guys have landed hard shots. Bradley skirmishing with Pacquiao, going after him the same way he went after Ruslan Provodnikov when Provodnikov landed hard shots on him. But the thing that he knows in the back of his mind is that Marquez got Bradley like this, and this is what he's banking on. You mean he got Pacquiao like this? I mean, he got Pacquiao like this, yeah. Exactly. And that's what Bradley's banking on. Right. He's hoping he's that Pacquiao that he comes get Pacquiao, Pacquiao to overcommit. Exactly. I think he also believes that Pacquiao no longer has the same level of commitment that he once did, that Bradley now does. And in this kind of fight, Bradley in his prime is going to be too much for Pacquiao. I think that's what Bradley believes. Bradley lands a right, then misses all the way over the top of Pacquiao's head. Step back, fellas. Ten seconds to go in the round. Early part of the round belonged to Pacquiao. Bradley has come back well. He sees Pacquiao line that jab up and throw a beautiful straight left hand down the pipe. Bradley tried to react to it, but he reacted a little late as his punch, uh, Pacquiao's punch got to the target before Pacquiao's right glove could stop the punch. Best punch of the fight for Pacquiao. Best punch for both fighters. That punch knocked. Found in CompuBox numbers, Pacquiao 15 out of 41. Bradley 11 out of 55. Pacquiao with a 12 to 11 edge in power shots landed, and he landed the biggest shot of the round, that one left hand. And I think like the first round, a decisive round, this time for Pacquiao, based on the fact that he appeared to hurt Bradley with the left hand. And Harold Letterman agrees with you so far, Max. Pacquiao lands another one, two. Right jab, left thrust. Bradley gets in the left hand body shot after Pacquiao tries to pin him against the ropes. Bradley's just trying to make Pacquiao work. So he's just trying to hit Pacquiao with one big shot, which is very small on his part. While, while Bradley played some good defense there, he also absorbed at least two real shots in that in that flurry without responding. Though here he's starting to do some work. Yeah, but he's trying to wear Pacquiao down, get Pacquiao to a slug fest, where he knows he has a chance to knock him out if he can. Bradley doing a lot of blue-collar work there against the ropes, step pounding away to Pacquiao's rib cage and his head. arms. And this is Bradley's fight right here. Pacquiao landing and ducking effectively there. Landing a left again. Good left hand inside for Pacquiao and another one. Stop, stop. This is the fight that Bradley wants, though. Body shot by Bradley. Oh, the leverage that these two are getting on these punches right now. Big shot. Hard right hand by Bradley. Pacquiao's had a big round with the left hand. Bradley's trying to even it up to the body. And Bradley meant exactly what he said by saying he's going to try to knock Pacquiao out. Because he's trying his hardest. Oh, good shot by Pacquiao. Well, Bradley's doing what George Foreman used to warn against, following a puncher. You don't care. At this point, Bradley could kill this. He's just trying to get him one shot. I'm wondering. 
Fury and Bradley won't give away some rounds you don't with care. that strategy. You don't care about giving away rounds. He thinks he's going to score a knockout win. Exactly. You see how he banged into the body? That's all he wants. Take a look, look, look at, at the histrionics of Manny Pacquiao's mother during that round. Look at what Manny Pacquiao's mother goes through just in the course of a few seconds during that kind of combat. Imagine that for the entire 12 rounds, if in fact it turns out to be that kind of a fight. He won't go that long, Jim. And his wife, Jinky, is not here tonight. Normally, Jinky Pacquiao is a very visible figure at ringside, and we show her to you. But tonight, she is back in the Philippines, expecting any minute their fifth child. CompuBox numbers in the third round, Pacquiao 24 of 68, Bradley 17 of 62, 22 of Pacquiao's landed punches, were power shots. Harold, how do you have it through three? I've got a two rounds to one, 29, 28, Manny Pacquiao. Uh, I got Timothy Bradley in the first round, but in rounds two or three, Manny Pacquiao landed that left hand. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you know, Jim, the problem in this fight is you can't knock out Timothy Bradley. The guy's got a jaw like iron. I would try to hit him with the stool, I swear to God. Terrific shots landed by Pacquiao in rounds two or three to win those rounds. But it's a great fight. Two to one, Manny Pacquiao. I Bradley agree with body shot on the oh. belt line. I agree with Harold's score. It's not just Tim's chin, though. He's been on the deck before. It's that he gets up. It's that no matter how bad trouble he's been in in his career in the past, and he has been in several spots, he miraculously fights through because of his conditioning and his will to win. I don't like how Pacquiao's not reacting to Tim's body shot. He's allowing Tim to just land the body shots clean, and that's going to hurt him down the line, I think. But Tim is selling out on those body shots. That's what I'm he's saying. He's everything with him. Too much into him, and Pacquiao is, is allowing him to do that. Well, because Pacquiao is focused on offense upstairs. Yeah, but he needs to go to Tim's body as well if he's going to do that. Good right hook by Pacquiao. Momentarily stop that. And Bradley with the right hand. Momentarily lifted Pacquiao off his feet. Both guys landing big shots again. Best punch of the fight for Bradley, I think. Another right hand lands for Bradley there. Pacquiao's one of the all-time great knockout artists. Bradley has never knocked out a world-class fighter, and it's Bradley who's gunning for it here. Good body shot by Pacquiao. Now Pacquiao goes to the body. makes that right hand count and he did something earlier in this round that he hasn't done thus far with Pacquiao which is I think momentarily shake him up oh, good shot another good right hand shot by Bradley to the body I think Pacquiao now knows that Bradley for the first time can hurt him I think he hurt him briefly with a right hand earlier in the round I agree Tim Bradley try to put so much out. You wonder how physically strong Tim is? He picks Bradley, I mean, he picks Pacquiao completely off the ground with his overhand right. Watch Pacquiao's feet. Both feet right here are off the ground, suspended in midair with one overhand right. I don't think nobody expected that Timothy Bradley would come to a, to a fight and punch this hard. Once again, I've never allowed for power so much on every shot. Copy box numbers through four rounds. Pacquiao 59 of 195. Bradley 47 of 211. Pacquiao carving out small advantages in power punches landed and in overall connects. Well, if the strategy doesn't backfire, then this is truly a fighter in his prime and Tim Bradley, who for the first time is not only combining the determination and the, and the conditioning and boxing skills, but combining that using his physical strength to generate punching power, which he hasn't showed in his career to this point. Bradley got himself out of position against the ropes. Pacquiao was able to excite the crowd momentarily with a left hand. They trade a left and a right. What else we have to remember here is that Pacquiao has had a lot of battles, but not many battles that he had where he had to sustain this high of intent the whole round. Bradley's making him fight full intent the whole three minutes of every round. That's taking a lot out of Pacquiao as well. Well, he did it as a lighter division fighter against Morales and 
Yeah, but they Mark weren't. Marquez at that, at that time. Yeah, they weren't quite as physically strong as Timothy Bradley. Tim Bradley told us that throughout training camp, he often sparred 10 minutes rounds with 30 seconds rest between the 10 minute rounds, trying to keep the intensity up all the way. Partially, that's because one thing for which Pacquiao was criticized in the first fight was coasting through the first two minutes of several rounds and trying to load up the damage into the last minute of the round to buy the round from the judges. And many say, well, that's one of the ways that he lost the fight, that the judges didn't fall for that. Tonight, Pacquiao appears to be trying to fight more intensely throughout all three minutes but Bradley is even more intense. <laughs> we might be watching, looking at one of those swing rounds that can determine a fight, guys, if this goes the distance. I think one and four were Bradley, two and three were Pacquiao. Who's winning this round? And there's a minute left in it still. Up oh, for grabs. Up for grabs. Oh, that is a Hard shot. Hard right hand by Bradley. That is a good hook by Bradley. And those shots may have negated some of the good work that Pacquiao did in the middle of this round. That punch blocked by Pacquiao. Bradley, often the aggressor here, giving Pacquiao some chances to counter. This minute has turned quiet in a round that does not yet seem decided. Who will try to steal it in the last 15 seconds? Pacquiao unloads the combination. Pacquiao driving Bradley back with the jab. Pacquiao lands the left. Pacquiao might have stolen the round. I don't know if daughter Lorraine seated next to him on the right shoulder. Combi box numbers in round five. Pacquiao 14 out of 42. Bradley 11 out of 46. Pacquiao 9 to 8, power advantage. Those numbers squaring with most of the numbers we've seen so far in this fight. Harold Edelman gave the fifth round to Bradley. Bradley did land the more obvious big clean shots with about a minute to go in the last round. Then Pacquiao tried to steal it at the end. Pacquiao needs to do something impactful here now because Bradley seems to have caught a second win. Good, co good combination by Pacquiao. Bradley switched up southpaw and tried to run Pacquiao into a left hand from the power position just then. Bradley is throwing high and keeping Pacquiao's hands at home. Pacquiao's doing a pretty good job of blocking the punches. There he lands the left cross across the top. Keep in mind that Pacquiao, before it was known as being Pacquiao because of what happened to him against Marquez, you could say it was known as being Pacquiao for what he did to Ricky Hatton. He has demonstrated that one punch ability in the past. And now Timothy Bradley has slowed down a little bit, so now Pacquiao can get back into his normal rhythm. Little left hook lands for Bradley. No big shots so far in this round. Pacquiao a little bit more defensive in this round, blocking another shot there. You'd like to see Pacquiao throw a few more body shots. Already it's such a different fight from their first fight. Even in the second half of the fight where Bradley had greater success than he did in the first half, he neutralized Pacquiao, maybe without really actually winning that many rounds in most people's minds. Here, it's just a different kind of fight. 
Bradley cornered, ducking away. Pacquiao throwing all the punches. Barely landing, one. though. Not many landing, though. Bradley trying to motion Pacquiao in and set him up for a counter, and the round comes to a close. More advantage, again, those numbers very much in line with what we've seen so far through the fight. Harold, how do you have it through six? I think, Jim, I got it three rounds apiece, 57-57, I got it even. That's funny. Uh, Tiffany Bradley's got that thudded Marvin Hagler-like power. He comes in with really hard power shots, and he does damage when he lands. On the other hand, Pacquiao really hasn't been turning Bradley the way he turned him in the first round, in my estimation. More standing in front of him and less angles. You know, you remember where he used to go back to the right, then he would go back to the left, then he would go back to the right. Each time he'd be scoring straight left hands. He's not doing that as much. He's really not turning him. Three to three, all even. I agree with Harold, although I thought the fifth round was close. You know, look at these two fighters' feet. They're both flat-footed. It's a flat-footed fight. It's not a Pacquiao up on his toes, bouncing all around as he normally does. Oh, good shot. Excellent left-hand shot by Pacquiao. Backs Bradley out of there. These guys are loading up. Well, Freddie Roach has preached throughout the camp that he wants to see a knockout or at least some physical damage. Bradley talked knockout all day yesterday, so why wouldn't they be flat-footed? Oh. Both landing big shots in this round. Previous two rounds were more tactical. This is more like what we saw in rounds one and two. Good body shot by Bradley. And another good body shot by Bradley. Pacquiao getting the advantage upstairs. Bradley hammering into the ribcage. Wonderful the body shots by Bradley. Watch the head. What you see in Tim Bradley here, unlike Pacquiao, who's always seemed to be a force of nature, Bradley looks like he's trying to become a self-made great fighter. Like he's trying to will himself to greatness. Fighting like a man possessed. Pacquiao landed the one-two. Gets in a left hand there. Backs Bradley up. Goes to the flurry again. Good combination by Pacquiao. Pacquiao fighting more confidently now in round number seven. Backs Bradley into the ropes again. Now Bradley counters hard with the right hand. Pacquiao steps back up. Pacquiao went for the home run there, though. They both did. And they both <laughs> missed. Bradley's trying to pull the Marquez on Pacquiao. Have him come in to set him up for the big shot. Oh, there goes. by Pacquiao. Thunderous shot there. Oh, and there goes again. It's backfired so far this round. It's a big round for Pacquiao. He won the round. Look at Tim Cowell with an overhand right to the back of the head. And now we're in the round eight of a scheduled 12. Pacquiao was 26 out of 75 in round seven. 14 of 56 for Bradley. Pacquiao building connect advantages now in both the power punch and the overall categories, just as he did in their first fight. Harold Letterman has Pacquiao ahead by one point. The fifth round was a swing round. So if a scorer gave Pacquiao the fifth round, he might be up on that scorecard five to two instead of four to three. Assuming that all other rounds were scored the same way, and some of them don't seem difficult to score. Like the last one. Solid combination by Pacquiao. Bradley drops his hands. Bradley seems to have better success when he's slowly coming forward inexorably and imposing his physical strength and youth on Pacquiao and determination. When he tries to set Pacquiao up, maybe he feels like he has chances, but that's when Pacquiao does his best work. Yeah, when he waits on Pacquiao, Pacquiao really lands his biggest punch. Yeah, lands to Pacquiao. Gets in another left hand. 
Bradley misses with the left hook. Dad lands to Pacquiao. Bradley clowning a little bit, mugging there, trying to pretend that Pacquiao may have wobbled him a little bit. Trying to set Pacquiao up again. Even though they were trading rounds early in the fight, it seemed to me that Bradley was having his way. And something's changed in the last couple rounds where Pacquiao now seems to be having his way. <laughs> this is a pro Pacquiao crowd. They didn't like the notion that Bradley might have hit following a referee's instruction there. Good left hook by Bradley upstairs. Best punch in a while for him. Ten seconds to go in the eighth round. And the eighth round ends with Pacquiao trying to eight. Pacquiao 119 out of 391. Bradley throwing more, 407, but landing only 91. Pacquiao landing 20 more power shots by CompuBox count to this point in the fight. Feels like Bradley, there he is, has to come up with something in this round maybe to change the course of the fight. At least get busier. lands a little jab, lands the left hand there. Bradley just short with the left hook. Now he lands the right hand. Bradley already doing some better work in this round. Yeah, his raise is giving uh, Pacquiao a hard time. Pacquiao is either too close to him or too far away from him to do any damage. I think that was more a wrestle move than a wobble from the punch. That one was a wobble from the punch. Now Pacquiao comes after him. And the way his legs are flailing, that's how he hurt his feet in the first fight. Bradley. Bradley's been off balance twice in the round. Only the second one, I believe, was from the impact of the punch. But Pacquiao believes he may have him going. Well, his legs don't look great to me right now, and I don't, But I don't understand why Pacquiao won't go to the body zone. Good right hook by Pacquiao. Another good right hook by Pacquiao. Another jab by Pacquiao. Now he unleashes the left hand. Bradley trying to counter off the rope. Pacquiao outworking it. Outworking him again. Bradley keeps looking to hit home runs. Pacquiao is content to hit doubles. That's all, Pac that's all Bradley planned to do is just what he said. He tried to go for the home run. And because he's not used to hitting home runs, he's actually throwing some arm punches and big looping punches. Pacquiao just has to stay smart and make sure he doesn't get caught with one of those bombs. He is controlling this round and seemingly gaining momentum still in the fight. Good jab by Bradley. Yes, it was. I think he should box. I believe the knockout strategy is operating against him. That was conventional wisdom heading into this fight. It's early, it looked like, no, maybe Bradley was right, but last several rounds, three, four rounds. Swinging big for knockouts is not customarily Bradley's game. Focusing on distance, counterpunching, being precise, using his jab. That has been Bradley's game. Tonight, he seemed to want to hurt Manny Pacquiao with every oh. shot. And right now, it's not working for him. Okay. You know Here's these guys get tangled up. Pacquiao missed a shot, Tim missed a shot, but Pacquiao's back leg hit Tim's back leg and it knocked Tim off balance. You see it from this angle, watch Pacquiao's back leg. Right there, hit Tim's front leg and knocked him off balance. Pacquiao is landing a little left hand there, but it wasn't the reason for Bradley to be off balance. Power punches in round eight. Pacquiao, 14 out of 24. Bradley, 10 out of 24. Pacquiao with an overall connect advantage in the round. Round 10 of a scheduled 12.
You heard Joel Diaz tell Bradley the fight is even at this point. Not on Harold Letterman's scorecard. Harold, how do you have it? I got an 87, 84, six rounds to three, Manny Pacquiao. Jim, in my estimation, he's won four rounds in a row. Now watch this, it's very interesting. He bounces up once, or you know, bounces up and down once or twice, okay? Gives him a fake, then he comes forward, and Bradley always backs up. And, I, you know, I can't see a big power puncher backing up. It's just, it's unreal. Bradley was coming forward all the time in the early rounds, and now he's backing up. You see how he's backing up? Pacquiao fakes him, and he backs up, and maybe whacks him. Six to three, Pacquiao. Pacquiao. Yeah, good hook over top of the jail. It just feels with these two that Pacquiao is the more talented, and so Bradley has to work harder to tread water. And that takes a toll on him psychologically. He, he takes his foot off the pedal sometimes because he has to floor it in order to stay even with Pacquiao. And that's a very true assessment, Max. But he did. He did, he did make the adjustment from the last fight because last fight he completely got out And hey Max, when you say Pacquiao is more talented than Brad, are you talking hand skills or hand speed? He's the more physically talented fighter. I think he's faster with his hands and feet, though Bradley's quick. He has more punching power. And he's making Bradley miss and countering beautifully in this round. And he threw good, a good four-punch combination on the counter that time. And at this point, it looks like Bradley's going to have to run him into something to change this fight. Good left hand and uppercut by Pacquiao. Another good Pacquiao combination. Bradley swinging big, not landing enough. Meantime, give some credit to Pacquiao. He's been focusing on Bradley with a next level determined kind of guy in Bradley, a top five pound for pound fighter. Pacquiao's supposedly a guy who doesn't have it anymore. And Bradley in his prime gunning for him and at the moment getting out class. Yeah, Pacquiao's a guy that knows how and when to turn it on and how and when to turn it off. Good combinations for Pacquiao. Bradley swinging big again with the right hand. More and more, Tim Bradley seems to be trying to turn this around with one big shot. Oh, Pacquiao is ready to... Here you see Pacquiao land a beautiful left hand right down the pipe on Timothy Bradley. As Timothy Bradley was moving back, but later in the round, you see Timothy Bradley bounce back and counter that jab with a straight right hand right down the pipe on Pacquiao. Best he's, punch of the round. He's taking just as good as he's getting. But that was only one of 12 count up uh, uh, CompuBox counted punches that Bradley landed in that round, whereas Pacquiao, according to CompuBox, had a brilliant round, 26 out of 46 and landed twice as many power shots in the round as did Tim Bradley. So at least by CompuBox count, Pacquiao is having his way against Bradley, but that was the case in the first fight as well. We thought. <laughs> and by the way, if Harold Letterman's unofficial scorecard is correct, we're already into the stage of the fight where Bradley would need knockdowns or maybe a knockout to win it. But of That's course, we all know that Harold's scorecard in no way resembles what the official judges produced at the first fight. Bradley's got a knot, it looks like, over his left thigh. And Pacquiao just finally landed a good straight left to the body. After not having thrown to the body all that much. I can't for the life of me understand why Tim Bradley isn't trying to be more busy than this at this stage of the fight. He's pretty tired, Jim. He put out some big punches throughout this whole fight, which is something that's very un, uh, un, 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 uncharacteristic of him. When you swing big like that and you miss, it tires you out more, right? It takes five times the energy to miss a big shot than it does to land a small one. Bradley's pot shotting pretty well this round. meaning tagging Pacquiao with single punches from the outside. Yep, will it be enough to win him around? Oh, good oh, shot. Good hard right hand by Tim Bradley. Over the top of Pacquiao's left. Pacquiao got a little lazy with the left hand there and allowed Bradley to hit him with the right. 
out, as Harold Letterman pointed out. Bradley keeps backing up, backing up, backing up. Pacquiao fakes. Bradley backs up. <laughs> Left hand landed for Bradley. Pacquiao blocking the others with his gloves and lands a big shot. hand down the middle. Nobody ever talks about Manny Pacquiao as a defender, Roy Jones, but what he does to block punches with his gloves is very impressive. Yeah, he has an awesome, awesome defensive stand. Very good reflexes, very good hand movement, and wonderful hand, wonderful hand eye coordination. We're looking to give Bradley a round in the last punch. I suppose this is your best shot. So Pacquiao has landed 45 more shots than Bradley, according to CompuBox, coming to the last round. Power advantage, 131 to 98 for Pacquiao. Obviously, he had the CompuBox numbers advantage in a big way in the first fight as well. Harold Letterman did give the 11th round to Timothy Bradley, breaking a five-round streak for Pacquiao on the Letterman scorecard. That yep. is unofficial. Bradley gave an unsteady feeling in the last round, but when you actually think about who was landing the punches, it was Bradley ones and an occasional one-two. Pacquiao coming out a little bit more aggressively now to start the 12th. Big left hand by Pacquiao, turned Bradley's head. Pacquiao lands a right badly, shot. Badly hurt from that shot still. And Pacquiao doing a good job of jumping in and getting out before Tim can count it. Bradley started to throw a right hand. It looked like he was in slow motion after Pacquiao landed his left. In case you're wondering, Tim Bradley's never had a knockout past the eighth round. Another good left hand for Pacquiao. Counter shot by Bradley. Pacquiao jabbing Bradley back. Lands the straight left again. blocking of shots by Pacquiao with his gloves. One of the best at catching punches with his gloves. Pacquiao making Bradley miss and landing inside. Now we've got a minute to go. Bradley needs something huge here. Pacquiao's the one who's hurt him in this round. a little too long with the right hand shot. Now he lands one. Stop, stop, stop. All right, fellas, hurry go, hurry go. The first fight was good. This fight has been even better. More violent, more intense. Headbutt, and Pacquiao has blood on his cheek. Is that an accidental headbutt? First headbutt of the fight. Luckily, with 12 seconds to go in the last round. Time in. What's your final scorecard? Look at you, look at a 116, 112, eight rounds to four, Manny Pacquiao. I mean, Jim, I thought he won it by backing up Timothy Bradley, you know, in round six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. He just took over the fight. Bradley came back in the last two rounds, did a little bit, but certainly not enough to catch up. Eight to four, Manny Pacquiao. One of the best, inducted into the Florida Boxing Hall of Fame, and Nevada's Glenn Trowbridge. Okay. It was a dramatic moment last time.
Let's go to Michael Buffer for the official result. Ladies and gentlemen, here at the MGM Grand, we go to the scorecards. Craig Metcalf and Michael Pernick score it 116 to 112. Glenn Drobridge, 118 to 110. All three judges have it for the winner by unanimous decision from Serengani Province, Philippines. The new WBO Welterweight Champion of the World, Manny. <laughs> I hope not too long from now. And where it takes place, that I don't care. I just want to be there. How about next week? They're both in pretty good shape. No, nah, we got to let that cut heel over Pac Man's eye. That's a great point. A positive been a victory moment for the two warriors who've said so much about each other. And now Pacquiao's mother with an exchange with Timothy Bradley. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The Brotherhood of Boxing. 